Good morning, good morning, good morning. Are we live? Oh, I'm gonna turn the internet over. Um, just bear with me a second, guys. Just to make sure that we're gonna get great. And we are back. All right, let me just bring it up on my tablet. How are we this morning? How is your Friday going? Sure oh, God. I can hear myself. Hang on. <laughs> that's, a bit, that's a bit much. With my fat arm in the screen. Let's change arms. Put the comments on. All right. Hey, Jackie. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try and be super quiet because you're at work. Said no one ever. Sorry, Dal. Okie dokie. So, welcome. Happy Friday. Good morning, Amanda. Uh, today... Well, over the next two days, today and tomorrow, I am involved in the Picture to Page Peninsula Craft Show. So this is a two-day online show where we are going to, I'm going to be doing four demos today, four demos tomorrow. So it's all about you guys and educating you guys and showing you some really cool tricks and tips and ideas. Um, good morning, Robin. Uh, and the, so I'll be doing a live Facebook on this Facebook page today at 10.30 Adelaide time, which is now, um, 12.30 Adelaide time, 3 p.m. Adelaide time, and then at 7.30 tonight Adelaide time, I'm going to be doing a interview with Picture to Page over on their Facebook page. So you can find me over there and I will be creating live an art journal page. No idea what I'm creating yet, but we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. And then tomorrow we're going to be doing some cool stuff as well. So today I'm going to, this morning, I'm going to have a bit of a play with some more alcohol inks because like they're so, so easy and they are 15% off today and tomorrow. Happy days. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack straight into it and I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways of making cards. So as I'm going, um, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments and I will happily answer all the questions for you if I, as, as they come up. Uh, so the I'm just going to pull out to the side here. This is my little stash of alcohol inks. I don't have all the colours. Um, I don't need all the colours. Well, I do need all the colours, but I'm not going to open all the colours. So this is the Couture Creations little um, carry case, which is fantastic. We have got eight of nine of these in stock at the moment, and these are... I think they're $40 is the recommended retail for these guys. And they're fabulous because they hold 60 alcohol ink bottles. Really, really good. So I have got mine in here and I'm just going to make a bit of a start. I've got some alcohol ink blending solution. So this is the, the guy that's going to do all the work. Um, but before I start, I might just pull out a few colours. So for those of you who don't know... Alcohol inks are exactly that. They are ink with an alcohol base and they are fantastic for creating really vibrant, beautiful pieces that meld together really, really nicely. So these, um, having an alcohol base, it means that you have to create them. You have to use Yupo paper. You have to use this specialty paper. So Yupo paper, of course, is a synthetic paper you can get it in four different styles I have available online at the moment this is the plain white there is the transparent as you can see that transparent uh, and then there is a black one as well as an adhesive one as well which we are just uploading they've just come in so um, just be a little bit patient with getting those online okay so the reason why we want to use the Yupo paper is, uh, is so that the alcohol can sit on the top and then evaporate away, leaving the colour in the paper. Um, alrighty, so let's start with... Oh, look, I've got some blues and some pinks out. Um, so the alcohol inks from Couture Creations, these are my favourite ones at the moment to play with. Uh, they come with a glitter. I've got a metallic... The fluoros are available as well. 
and they are what else and the plain ones so I might create something to start with with I've got a couple of pinks out here oh I don't want to go that bright let's go for that that and I've got a blue and I'll add in another blue all right so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to get all the lids off and the reason being is you need to move relatively quick the glittery ones you need to give them a really good shake before you start uh, I've got some ink pearl ones as well so I need to give those a little bit of a shake mulberry fuchsia Radio. Um, my background here, I've just got some baking paper down because this can be a little on the messy side and you can quite easily uh, spread it from ear to ear. So I've just put a generous amount of blending solution down and now I'm just going to sprinkle on a few of these beautiful pinks. Now I'm going to add some glitter as well. And I'll bring it up to the camera in a minute and show you how it looks. Uh, so you can use a couple of things to spread the ink around. I'm going to blow it with a straw. So I apologise if you see the top of my head. You can pick it up and move it around. Oh, I like that and now I'm going to drop in a couple of bits of a couple of things of blue the reason I'm using blue is because they are colors that are alongside each other on the color wheel so they're not going to muddy Ooh, like that and I really should have put my gloves on but I didn't so there we go a bit of that one there and I'm going to pop some of the glitter in as well. I'll bring it up to camera in a moment and show you. But I'm just creating some backgrounds before making these really cute cards. Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm bringing it up to camera. I know you get a little bit of reflection, a bit of light glare there. But you can kind of see what, I'm, what, what sort of finish it gets. And I'm going to pop it aside to dry. Um, and create another one um, so I'm just going to leave those I'm going to take the lids I'll do pull the, put all the lids back on later and cracks through some of these so the transparent one is lovely um, I do love the transparent especially with metallic colors they look amazing so I've got to go with champagne copper A little bit of gold. All right, but before I start, I'm going to put a base down of fossil. So I'm going to put a base down of a really neutral color. So just giving it a nice little squirt of the alcohol blending solution. I'm getting that really, really nice fossil color on. So the next thing I'm going to do is just drop in some copper. Oh, wow. That's a bit nice. Morning, Leslie. How are you this morning? How's Tassie? Lovely and cool down there, I, I'm thinking. It's, um, it's not lovely and cool here in Adelaide today. We are hitting a high of 40 today, uh, which is... Wow, that's a lot of gold. Um, which is awful, actually. I don't love this 40-degree weather at all. Um, all right, so you can see that those colors are looking pretty great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gently blow it around with a straw now. And now I'm going to use my heat gun to also push it out. Oh, 27 is super hot. Yeah, you're right. It is super hot for, um, Tassie.
got a big goober of gold there, but that's okay. I was a bit heavy handed with the gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop over the top of the gold a little bit of fossil and blow it around. And I'm going to drop in some black. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Hang on. Where is it? Oh, no, I've got some mochaccino, some mochaccino brown just to break up that gold a little where I was a little heavy handed. Good morning, Rebecca. 44 today, is it? Oh. Well, that doesn't make it any better. I haven't been I haven't been watching a lot of TV lately and I've got no idea what the forecast is. All right. So, I'm going to bring this up to camera. No, I don't like those little bits there, so all right, so you can see that that's super pretty. And, and I was definitely heavy handed on that gold. But that's all right. So I'm going to pop that aside to dry as well, just off camera. And I'm just going to grab some paper towel to clean up my gooby mess. All right, what else have we got? Let's do something in fluorescent. So the new fluoro colours that, that were released or oh, only last month are incredibly vibrant, um, super gorgeous. And there's 10 colors in the collection. So I've just pulled out these four here. So we've got blue, purple, hot pink, and yellow. So I need to give them a good shake because the pigment can settle on the bottom. And then I'm going to get a squirt of the blending solution down and I'm gonna start with my lightest color. So before I do that, I'm going to take all my lids off. So my lightest colour in theory is yellow, but look at that. That's amazing. Now, I what I love about the fluoros, other than the incredibly amazing colour is that they dry with a little bit of a matte finish, I have found. And I really quite liked that effect. So I'm just using the straw to blow these around a little. And where I didn't put the blending solution, I'm just adding a few drops to spread it out to the edges. All right. So I've muddied up a little bit in the middle here, but I don't actually mind too much because what I'm going to do is get my heat tool out and blow it around a little and add a few other drops of colour as I go. So of course the reason it went muddy is because I mixed what cut two colors together. Anybody want to answer me? I don't quite know what I was thinking this morning. I know what, I haven't had a coffee. First world problems. So purple and yellow, because they are on top, uh, opposite on the color wheel, will make brown. But that's looking pretty good just the same. So I'm gonna pop that aside to dry. I need to put it all flat. All right, so I'm going to do a couple more. Purple and yellow. Yeah, Lana, I, I really should have paid a little bit more attention to that, shouldn't I? All right, so I've done a pour. So now I think I might just do a plain blue, something in the blue tones. So if you don't use a blending solution, what tends to happen is the colours are not going to move around as much. So I have got some dark colors here and I've got the fluorescent blue 
and I'm going to use the glitter blue. So I've got a nice little combination of the blues um, and I'm going to, you need to move reasonably quick with this because I'm not going to be using the, like I said, the blending solution to move it around. I'm going to do it with the straw and then the heat tool. All right, so the straw, and make sure you blow on the right end of the straw. <laughs> and don't inhale, because it's it's got some fumes to it. So a well-ventilated area. Or you'll end up drunk at 10.30 in the morning. Which has nothing wrong with that, no judgment. Um, I need to turn that around. Radio, and I'm going to pop a little bit more blue in these gaps that I've missed. Oops. I like that. It's lovely, intense. A white spot there let's get rid of that so you can make some amazing effects um, I really and it's personal preference it depends on how creative and amazing you want to be I love this effect this is what really floats my boat um, but like like I said personal preference everyone loves to do things differently and I can appreciate that the uh, personal d personal designs and you know if you want to get all clever and work with flowers or create different uh, different techniques that way you can there's so many different things to, that you can do you can use blending tools with the alcohol inks uh, oops wrong color okay create something now a little bit more vibrant I'm going to crack in some of this fluorescent yellow and show that you can mix the colors together It dries a lot quicker as well without the blending to, um, fluid. So if I hit it with the heat gun next, the heat gun moves around the ink as well. beautiful and vibrant is that loving it all right push that off to the side I'll do a couple more why not let's do another transparent one a transparent with glitter how does that sound this is the only way I love glitter I am NOT a fan of glitter far from it indeed so let's go with, I've got some rose gold, honey. I thought I had, oh, here we go. I thought I had a, like a brown open. No, I don't. Okay, so I've got graphite glitter. Honey might be a bit too orange. I might pop that back. Um, rose gold. And I'm going to be a little bit... I'll put blue in. Put some navy blue. Okay, so I'm going to start... So again, no blending solution here. I'm just going to go straight in. And no, I forgot to shake that first. Oh, love it. Ha, no, Michelle, I dislike glitter. I am not a glitter fan at all, but that's okay. You don't have to be good at everything, but I do like the alcohol inks with the glitter because they are confined to a small area. <laughs> oh, green. That's what would look nice. 
shamrock. Let's pop some shamrock in. Oh, that's pretty. All right. So the sale this weekend, um, this of the next couple of days, I'm going to give you guys 15% off all paper collections, all papers, 15% uh, off alcohol inks, 15% off stamps and stencils, as well as 15% off of all things Christmas. Okay, so um, that is available. And the, the prices are already calculated at the checkout. Um, they probably won't show up online when you look, but they will be calculated at the checkout. Oh, I keep missing that bit. Right, get my finger in there. Um, the other thing that is happening is the no judgment postage again. So what that means, the postage is not free, but... But the, um, oh, okay, so that looks so much better than I thought it would be. Um, so you pay postage on your very first order. And then after that, every order that you do, you just select no judgment at the checkout. And then you will be able to pay just $1 for postage. So then that way you can continue to add over the weekend as I show you something else amazing because you know that's going to happen guys uh and so i've got peach now so i just put down amber this is peach and i'm going to drop in some fluorescent burnt orange oh okay that's a lot but let's commit to it yeah Not my best move, but you know what? That's okay. Um, okay, so yes, as I was saying, the um, no judgment postage means that you can purchase numerous times over the weekend and you will only pay postage once. But it is important to pay postage on your first order. So then that way, I don't have to send you an awkward email in a couple of days time saying, hi. So that would be great. So there, I've made one here that looks a little bit different. So the glitter's in there. I, it was a lot of orange going on, so I threw in over the top some wine, as you do. Alrighty, so I've made quite a few little backgrounds here. Uh, I'm going to just, um, while I'm popping those aside to dry, I'm going to just pop these lids on. No, I'm not. I'm just going to pop them back in here into my little stand so I don't knock them over because I'm going to show you how to... Um, how to do some die cutting on the Gemini machine as well. Uh, I've got my Gemini set up here and I'm going to die cut a couple of, or a, a paper rose die and show you how easy it is to cut. Um, do any of you have a Gemini machine or have heard about what the Gemini machine is all about? My little pile of lids. Oh. Whoops, missed one. Um, the Junior. Yeah, so I've got the Gemini Junior. So what the Gemini is, it's an electronic cutting machine. Um, it is awesomely. Excellent wording. I do like that. It is very, very awesome. Um, and they are an investment tool. Um, you've got a big shot, Leslie. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a big shot and I have a Gemini machine. 
The difference between them is it's an electronic cutting machine. So that is amazing. So it's just going to be a case of feeding it in. I'll put it that way so you can see it on camera. Um, you don't have glasses on. What do you need glasses on for? What are you doing? Anyway, so the Gemini Junior is excellent. So it comes with all the cutting plates that you need. Um, it comes with a magnetic shim, which is fantastic. I have got here a paper rose die. So that's going to sit smack bang on the middle and a piece of Kaisercraft cardstock. I'm going to use the purple tape to hold it down in position. Like so. So you always cut face up with this machine and then we're going to pop another plate straight on the top and it's noisy, kind of like me, and you just feed it through. Look, mum, no hands. And it cuts beautifully almost every time. Where's my pokey tool? Okay. Wrong pokey tool. So I now do all of my die cutting on this machine. So like I said, it is an investment piece. It is a $350 investment, I believe. But for ease of cutting, perfectly every time this is is it's the it is the th main thing to use absolutely so last night i did a little bit of cutting ready to go that took me a whole six minutes and i'm talking super intricate cuts so these are the new some of the new dies from paper rose that have just been released i cut these there are a couple of tiny little bits still in them but I've just pushed those out and that just cut on on one single pass through the machine so uh, for those people who have got arthritic um, joints hands arms don't like the having to wind through you can get this machine and I can post it to you um, or you can pick up from an Adelaide location um, so yes now posting out the Gemini machine there will be a an additional postage charge because it is a very weighty machine it's a fantastic desk use product but I can um, talk to you about that it's only a few dollars more but yes definitely worth it and they are available shipping on Monday so you'll find all of those online so you can see how easily that cut and and when I did these last night it was just one straight cut through the machine this is the new uh, one of the new paper rose what are they called background overlay dies um, and here's some that I had from previous so creating some simple cards now I want to take my backgrounds that I created so I've got this guy here and it's still a little wet so I'm just going to quickly dry these off got that one that's still a little wet Hey Louise, would you be able to pass me those ones that I just put out of my reach there, please? Because, you know, that's a thing. So. Thank you. So you don't want to overheat Yupo paper because Yupo paper is a synthetic paper. It's all like a plastic paper. It's going to melt if you overdo it with the heat tool so you really don't want to do that um, I'm just being a little lazy here and taking off the excess with my paper towel um, because you don't need to watch paint dry anymore 
Alrighty, so let's make something pretty. Hi, Tina. Good morning. So when I make cards, I make what I call um, card card bases, card um, backs ready to go to stick straight onto folded card. So uh, I won't stick all of this down today, but I will show you exactly how good this is going to look. All right. So these are the ones that I have just done. I'll just line them all up here. Don't quite, quite know what I was thinking with that bit of paper. That's a bit big, isn't it? And then I've also got a couple that I prepared earlier. Um, so on previous live Facebooks and previous classes, You've seen how I uh, I will run the Yupo paper through the Gemini with an embossing folder to create a pattern before I start. And what happens is the ink pulls in and around that embossed image. So here are a couple that I have done before. So this is one with the wood grain 3D embossing folder and it just drips down through there. The cogs here. The cogs are just beautiful. I really, really love those. And with some of the um, pearly um, alcohol ink over the top. So to show you what you could do with that. Um, so this is one of the silhouettes from Scrap FX. So that could place over the top really, really well sitting on a plain black card with a black border would look super simple and amazing. You can stamp a sentiment across the bottom here. There is the perfect size area here for a sentiment. So that looks pretty great. Um, first card, tick, easy. What else have we got? Let's use, let's have a look at this guy here. Um, so Trace has just asked the question, that she has to have the alcohol inks, but she doesn't do, um, make, doesn't make cards. Well, there's absolutely no reason why you cannot use these in your art journal or on scrapbook pages. You just need to be aware of your surface that you are putting it on because the, the paper, of course, needs to not absorb the alcohol ink. It needs to allow the movement of the alcohol ink. So, um, Tracy, the, the face, live Facebook I did a, or a couple of weeks ago when the fluorose came out, you can stamp images on them, cut them out, then put them into your art journal. You can die cut these beautiful papers out as well. So, um, so that's a nice match on there. These beautiful poppies. So this is a die cut, uh, from, a die cut from Paper Rose. Um, automatically, I have to put that onto there. I mean, that's, that's just gorgeous. So I'll pair that up with that one in a moment. Um, the other thing that came in this week was this lovely die from Paper Rose as well. Um, and it is the, it, it does a beautiful edge. So if I just go trim that off there, trim that off there. Oh, and by the way, the Tim Holtz shears are also back in stock. You'll find those online. Um, so I've got this great little border now. And I can take lay that underneath the edge of a card of that one or Oh, it's really pretty on the blue. All right, I'll put that one together in a minute. What else have I got in my little pile here? I've got my, the man on the horse. He would look great. What can I put him on? Here's a gold one. That looks amazing. Uh, I've gone on, had a look on the shelf as well and pulled off some of the other really lovely silhouettes from Scrap FX. So the bird would look fantastic. Um, so here's another idea as an embellishment to go on your page. You could cut out a piece of this alcohol ink paper to sit beautifully 
behind that wing there to make and uh, behind the, the wing or sorry the tail feathers to make a really quick and easy embellishment as well so that would look nice the oh the man the man looks fantastic he might be great on oh i kind of like that on the fluoro the light bulb guy and these are super inexpensive as well so they've got a really really low price point the silhouette butterfly that looks great on fluoro we'll do that in a minute and this is one of my personal favorites this tree silhouette cut out is beautiful so by itself on white looks fantastic um, there's there's no reason why you can't use it just like that but let's pop him on here and that looks pretty nice on that as well okay so I'll make that one up. What else have I got here? The mermaid. I've got my the mermaid keyhole. Well, naturally, that just screams to go onto that glitter paper. Um, and if anybody has been watching my online store, you will notice that there is uh, there has been an influx of windows lately. I've fallen in love with windows. So windows, chipboard windows, I've got paper windows, I've got paper, I've got stamps, I've got all sorts, all sorts of bits and pieces. So starting to create a few little cards here, ready to go. Ah, oh, this is the transparent um, paper. So you can see that it's got that, it's got a different look to it. It's not as, of course, it's not as solid. So I'll stick that one onto there like that, instant card. What else have I got off? Oh, that window that I did earlier. Right, so the window's gorgeous. The window... I would foam mount and sit on top of here. All right? So to give you a bit of an idea, I'll put together... Or, oh, hang on. That could work too. Oh, that's a lot. Let's not do that. This is what I did with that um, that beautiful edge. That just simple, it's just a simple edge. It doesn't look like much, but when you do two back to back, put your glasses on guys, this is super bright. All right, so let's make something. Let's make, how would I do it? Let's do this one here. trimmer first thing I want to do to um, to create my card is make my alcohol ink paper exactly the same size as my cutout so my cutout I kind of give that a bit of a measure first and then I need to trim down my alcohol ink paper to be about the same um, hey Louise could you grab for me some card bases please card bases the a5 card bases thingies oh my words are not working well so the trimmer that i'm using here is a crafter's companion guillotine this is the small size these um retail for around the 54 dollar mark and it is a guillotine so it stays lovely and sharp i really really love that about it uh, i just need to cut a little bit more off of that side uh, it also comes in a big 12 inch side as a size as well so they are available online uh, and they are a they're again they're an investment tool but they're also something that doesn't go doesn't go um, blunt so well not for a very long time anyway so I'm just going to use my puzzle glue run a small amount up the side here there we go. I don't need to put puzzle glue. I don't need to put glue in the middle. Um, Tracy, you've got enough materials to make cards for the rest of your life, I suspect. And I'm going to stick that straight down on top. 
and I'm going to trim that top and bottom off in just a second. Just let that glue catch and do its thing. What else have I got here? I might use this one. This is really pretty. And I will use that on that guy. So something a little bit exciting. Um, in the last 24 hours, Louise and I have found a gorgeous new little Adelaide company, or new for us, I think they have been around for a little while, that does sus sus sustainable, eco-friendly, sustainable products such as washi tape and gorgeous little notebooks and calendars and a couple of tote bags. We've just gone and picked up the order this morning and it is absolutely divine these products are just gorgeous so what i will do um at the next i'll put some photos up on facebook shortly um the next live facebook i might just do a quick little show and tell of these new products that came in but they would make fantastic teacher gifts or christmas gifts and um something really lovely to um or a kris kringle gift if you have if you are that way inclined um, but we just need to get them all online and price them up before we show you otherwise we'll end up in a world of trouble <laughs> it doesn't go well all right so coming back to my little poppy one here so hopefully I've been able to show you how quick and easy it is to create a card using these lovely backgrounds that you have made from your alcohol inks. Most of us who are crafters have got a lovely collection of dyes that we've been collecting over the years. Um, so have a look through your stash of what you have and you will find you've probably got some amazing little bits and pieces that would look really great. Um, going to take one of my cards so the card packs that I sell online are three dollars fifty for a ten pack with matching envelopes and you just fold them in half lay them up I'm actually going to trim this card down to be the same size as my frame and pop that on so this card all I would do I would all I would do to finish this card off oh god words Natalie card off is die cut a sentiment or stamp a sentiment straight in the middle I could also probably take something oh pop a bird on there's lots of things that I could do I could foam tape that guy and stick him straight in the middle there that would work really quite nicely lots and lots of options uh, the other one so the same thing with this I would take the um, cut a strip of paper, stamp my sentiment on my piece of paper, something like, not like that, a plain white piece of paper, which I do not have handy, and just run a strip across there and you can kind of get the gist of what, what um, the plan is with that. So I'm going to leave it with that for today, uh, for this morning. Uh, I will be doing another live uh, later on in about an hour or so. Uh, give me enough time to clean up and start again. And I'm going to do a quick, I think I decided I was going to do a quick little tag with some Alter New brush pens and some Alter New stamps. Should make some quick, quick little grip, a gift tags and some things like that. So, um, oh, look at that. That's a bit pretty. Um, so, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Jump online, nataliemay.com.au. Um, $12.50 postage on your first order then all orders after that you select no judgment and you can add to your um, add to your order and we will be posting everything out on Monday uh, so thanks a lot guys jump online nataliemay.com.au kiss your kids wash your hands chat soon oh hang on where's the button up there <laughs>